Welcome to another how-to video. My name is Ditex, C2 at DVS, still the biggest, best, most knowledgeable height vision supplier in the UK. Anyway, today we're going to take a look at something a little bit different. It's called FaceWatch. FaceWatch is a facial recognition system that sits in the cloud, GDPR compliant, really, really clever technology. So we're going to use a height vision, my finger pointed well, facial capture camera it's not a facial recognition camera it's got the facial capture technology in it so it optimizes the performance but on site what you get given is a intel NUC with power supply of course the NUC unit will sit on the site sit on the network and you connect the cameras to the NUC unit i'll show you that on the pc shortly so i'm going to go and power this back up you then download the app on your phone face watch app on your phone so when a suspect comes into your premise or premises if you choose to share that data with other shops on the high street an alarm will be received on your smart device allowing you to see the suspect you can simply walk up to them tap them on the shoulder and either ask them to leave force leave remove them or just ask if they need a hand with their shopping which is likely to put them off doing anything so I'm going to go and put this back in, power it back up. We'll show you quickly the setup and how it performs on there. Okay, welcome back. So the device is fitted. It's back online. We're planning on running um, some installer courses monthly to show you how to get the best out of this. Camera placement, fitment, camera choice, lens choice, how far, how zoomed in, uh, backlighting, etc., etc., etc. Also, how to set this box up. The idea is once you purchase this, it's a per it's a per camera license per year this nuc box is included within that so it's wrapped up within the cost we will ship that from us to you um partly set up you will then need to get team viewer set up so we can do some finalization to get the box to talk to the back end server which is uh, securely stored off site um, in a secure location so there's two parts to this once the box is set up it's actually talking to server we've got two parts you've got the online web browser which is the face watch interaction uh, the, the web browser content how we can do our management and we've got edge management so within the edge management that's the knuck box i showed you that's actually a dialing straight into it using my details i'm going to dial in really easy to set up so it's showing us processor memory and disk space on the side graphical display I've added one camera, like I said, it's the Hike Vision 7126 series, optimized for facial capture, but it's not facial recognition camera in itself. What you can see there is there is the camera. If I click on status, it's showing up, so it's actually communicating now to the server, so we know it's working. If I click edit, I can give it a description. That's the full URL. What we've used is the third stream in the camera. So we've input the RTSP stream to drag it straight from the camera. I've enabled stream three. So what I'll show you quickly, stream three is now MJPEG. So within the setup, we can download the plugin, but we'll go straight to configuration just to show you. Video and audio. Stream one and two, the main stream and the substream are added to my standard recorder, doing facial recognition on the recorder itself, separate to this as a separate entity. And what we've done is on Third stream, set it for 1080p, 25 frames a second, 4096 and MJPEG. So we've set that up. We will help you choose the camera. We ideally want it to have the third stream so it doesn't interfere with anything if you're using a Hike Vision NVR or on-site recording for this camera. So it's out of the way nicely. So back to the edge management. Click on edit. That's the details we fill in. Um, we can choose those details and fine tune it as needed. Other than that, it's telling us it's up to us communicating with the server. We can reset it or log out um, or debug. We don't need to do any of that. That's, um, the debug is obviously for our benefit or for FaceWatch's benefit. Keep having to mention, this is the only claimed GDPR compliant one. When it takes, when it sees a suspect, it sends not the face detail itself, to the back end server, it just sends metadata, so that metadata cannot be reversed back into a face, so we don't store that face anywhere. Um, so very neat indeed, a lot of interest in this. Um, I'm gonna log out of the edge management and go to the online portal. I'm not a robot, not last time I checked anyway. Sign in, 
just want to mention if you do if you've got the smart app on your phone you don't really want to use or is that way up you don't really want to use the same login for the web portal as for the smartphone because they contradict each other only one can be in use at the same time so if you're using the same login on a pc to do this event in a watcher on a pc if you're a security guard and you'd rather use the web browser to do this or a smartphone you may want to have two separate logins so alerts so today we've just had one alert because i've just been out all day on the road i know working hard fixing problems but i've done it back to do this video especially so we're saying um one event today only if I walk in front of the camera itself, it will bring another alarm up, which I'll show you. But if I go to incidents, it'll give you a list of all the inc incidents I've manually created after I have added uh, people to it. So I've added myself, Jake, myself there. So there's uh, four, well, three suspects going in there twice. Three uh, guilty suspects there. And I'll show you how to do this shortly what we can do is we can click on report a new incident i can either select an image or browse recordings so if i select an image that means i input an image into the system from a usb file or another sort an external source or i can browse recordings and you can see here i can actually select one of these um so let's select john saunders um this is one where he was in there here the other day and got captured i hope he doesn't mind me using his face ah, of course he won't so upload image so incident date, incident time, calling John. So incident type, what is the incident? Theft, damage, abuse, fraud, antisocial behavior, other staff testing, urban explorer, drugs, missing person. Let's call him missing person because he goes home at five o'clock every day. What happened? Left work on time, no pay rise. So there we go. So that's the incident. So it's as easy as that. I click submit. Then it asks me to confirm that I have witnessed that this person has committed an offence. Put my first name and last name. So this all flows through the whole process. So it's completely audible and trackable. Click submit. There we go. He's now added to the rogues gallery as well. So he's a missing person. So if John came in front of the camera again today, that would then um, bring an alarm through to the, not only the, the, the web browser here, it brings it through to the phone as well. So if he is a missing person, we can go and make sure he's all right. And if he doesn't need any further medical assistance or he just needs a big hug. Um, we're just going to test myself today. So if you look at me here, ugh. <laughs> and I stole whiskey, apparently. Um, it's as simple as that. If I click on reports, so it gives you some report, some reporting based on match, not matched, ignored. So that's just, a, well, this is today and this is previous ones. You can see if that's any benefit to you. Total faces detected. Some of these functions aren't enabled, so they won't show. And then you've got account and settings. Really, really simple to use. And we'll give you further training because each site will want to use slightly differently to another. But we can fine tune that. So back to alerts. I'm going to go and stand in front of the camera. So today, just one alert has come through. I'll show you what it does. There we go. So alert, warning, a new SOI subject of interest has been detected at DVS. So, oh God, I look so tired. Click on OK. Here we go. So it's bringing up the new sighting. So it's subject subject of interest. There's the ID. 99.75% similarity. Um, it's unconfirmed yet because I haven't confirmed it. You can tell that's definitely me. Happy and sad at the same time. Time and date and where it was spotted. So if I click match. Got to press and hold it. That's now confirmed. If I click on that, I can flick through the little gallery. So if I go and stand by it again. So another unconfirmed one. Click match. Again, 99.63% positive. And you can see there, now I've got three thumbnails. And it'll just keep adding to that. So you have a little rogues gallery of the same person. So you can see then what they were doing at the time. Gurning, eating, smoking, sleeping, whatever. 
Um, I could create a new incident from Arso. Click new incident. Put this in. Name subject of interest. Blah, blah, blah. And keep going like that if I wanted to. So, name of subject of interest. Die tech. Incident type damage. Uh, click off. Submit. I confirm. Strange that I'm reporting myself, but there we go. Click on submit. When you think your man, what we think your image matches this person with a similarity. If you think this is not a match, click the no button. So you can actually, it's telling you, you created an incident with somebody in there. There we go. Straight away, you're saying you don't need to create another incident. I can click no match and create one based on that, or I can click submit. There we go. So now I've got quite a few of me in there. Other than that, that's the web browser. So I'll go back to this. So, so far, three sightings, and that clock will just, the ticket will just keep going. Um, you can see there two incidents. What I'm going to show you now is the phone element. So I need to log out of this. Okay, so Jake is going to do some little editing. So you're going to come back and go, whoa, full screen. So smartphone with the face watch app on there. So if I find face watch, so it's ready to be logged in. So I can log in on that. So no alerts currently because I've cleared them all on the web browser. I'm just going to close that. Stand by the camera and the cam the phone you'll hear make a horrible noise. Okay, there we go. So that's the horrible noise it makes. So we're saying there, subject of interest detected. Swipe view. So that's the latest one there. So it tells you 99.62%. Um, I can confirm the match. And it's done. Back. So there we go. So now I can go and tell Dave to go. So that's basically Fake Watch. If you want to know any more, please do contact our sales staff, myself, marketing, whoever that may be, or Face Watch Direct. Again, we are looking to put dedicated training courses on very soon so we can get you guys up to speed. Any questions, please ask. Other than that, have a lovely, lovely Christmas, and we'll see you very soon. Thanks, guys.